I'm Dave Jixer from 97 Rock. The Bills beat the Bengals, but come away with some big injuries. We are going to break it all down. And I'm Brad Galber in for Sarah O'Brien tonight. We're going to take your comments as we look ahead to the Jacksonville game on the Fan Favorite Football Show. The Robert Wood Show on WBBZ TV is presented by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Mighty Taco, do the cue. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla styled burritos. And DeGraff Hospital, because we see people, not just patients. And now from the WBBZ TV studio from 97 Rock, here's co host Dave Jixter. And welcome to the Robert Wood Show. I am Dave Jixer. Let me explain why I'm dressed like this. 97 Rock, for the 11th year in a row, is doing a promotion. It's called Operation Rock Out Hunger. And basically what it is, is I live on a truck. You can see it there on the monitors. It's a trailer. It's a 54-foot long trailer. And I live on that for eight days. And I collect perishable and non-perishable food. And it's really a very uplifting experience. You get to meet a lot of people that have used the food bank in the past and a lot of people that want to help the food bank. And that's why I'm dressed the way I've, I'm dressed. It's been about four days since uh, I, I've been in my own bed. But uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the show. Uh, yesterday, the Bills win. It was, uh, it was a little of a sloppy game. But the, the most important thing in my mind is, is our good friend Robert Woods uh, had to leave the game uh, with an injury. And here's what Coach Rex Ryan had to say about that. Right now, I'm feeling bad for myself, but um, yeah, probably for Robert, too. He is. He's playing great. And, you know, he's a heck of a receiver, but, you know, now it's the knee. He had, uh, you know, a foot before. It's just, man, it seems like we're a little snake bit uh, this year, but, but hopefully uh, we can get guys healthy and ready to go. I know we're a fresh team. We, It's, it's what we do. We train, you know, to, to be uh, at our best at the end of the year, and, uh, I think we're fresh as a football team, but we just, you know, it seems, seems like these injuries, uh, you know, are, are hurting us. Um, yeah, they are hurting. We'll talk about that in just a couple seconds, too. So, anyways, we tried to get Steve Tasker here, a, a good friend of the show, a good friend of mine. Called him up, and he was all ready to come, and then something happened, and he couldn't make it tonight. So, we will have Steve Tasker on uh, this show, the Robert Wood Show, uh, before this season is over. But we have Brad Gelber here. Good to have you back, Brad. You were here last week. Yeah. Yes, I was, Dave. And uh, it's good to have you on the show. And let's talk about yesterday's win. Hey, a win's a win. It was a little sloppy, especially offensively. Right. But we're back at 500. And uh, thoughts in the game yesterday? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done You know, with the food drive. And I'm sure on behalf of everyone, everyone's uh, very thankful that you do this year in and year out. I get to wear a suit, and Dave's uh, living on a trailer. And that's, that's <laughs> you know, thank you, Dave. But I'll anyway. I'll you right now. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyways, though, basically, uh, yesterday, yeah, a win a win and that's how you have to kind of look at it I mean at this point I was here last week we talked about what do the Bills need to do to make the playoffs and the thing I said is they basically need to win seven games in a row so how do you start that you win the first game so now they're one and oh and they have six more to go so they beat a team they're supposed to beat and uh, the Cincinnati Bengals you know Perhaps if that's a game they're playing New England or they're playing a, a team like Oakland who they're going to play in two weeks they don't win that game, but they pull it out and they played, they played good football. The defense played well. Stephon Gilmore came back, had two interceptions yesterday. Someone we talked about last week who's been struggling. Um, but Tyrod played well. They were able to run the ball when, uh, you know, LaShawn McCoy went out with an injury as well. Um, dislocated thumb, but they said they're hoping he can play this weekend. Um, but Mike Gillisley came in and he played good football. So I think that, um, you know, overall, are they probably thrilled with the effort? Maybe not. Rex is probably not 100% happy with it, but a win is a win is a win. Yeah, it's definitely a stepping stone. They said Shady had uh, surgery last night, and uh, you, you can bet they're going to tape that up and do whatever they have to do to get him in the ball game next week. Absolutely, and I think that um, with how well he's played this season, um, I think that you need to get him out there. And Mike Gillisley has been, like I said, effective. He's been a good, you know, good spot um, in that area. And I think even a guy like Reggie Bush has played okay football. Uh, he had a good run yesterday, but no one's LaShawn McCoy, and, and he's kind of playing the some of the best football of his career right now almost back to his days in uh, Philadelphia so I think that uh, at this point yeah they got to get him out there and I think he should be ready to go hopefully you know, you know there's a lot of criticism and we talk about this a lot with Robert um, there is still a, a criticism on Tyrod Taylor and everything but as a, a, a football fan 
I think Tyrod is a playmaker and makes things happen and, 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 and does, I mean, yes, does he miss throws downfield? Yes. Um, but has he had, you know, has he had his number one, number two receivers out quite a few games this year, too. Uh, thoughts on Tyrod Taylor? Should he be uh, the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills in the future? Uh, that, that's hard to say, and I think that that's something, you know, that is, is the biggest question with injuries is, you know, is Tyrod really able to even show his full skill set right now? I think that, you know, another another note that they said is Sammy is expected to hopefully come back next week. So if Robert has to miss time, maybe we're going to have Sammy Watkins back. So I think if you say that to Tyrod, he's going to be pretty pleased because now he has one of his number one targets back uh, in the game. But, yeah, I think that uh, Tyrod definitely has an exciting playmaker ability. You know, he can take off and run with the ball he scared you know the lights out of me yesterday when he got popped pretty hard yeah. on, on that one run I was you know I, I was a little nervous but, then, but that's another asset he has it scared right. me too but he's tough and he gets up right he gets up he was down for a little while but um, that's the thing with Tyrod is he's tough he's fast and yes he needs to work on his accuracy he missed that long throw to Charles Clay down the middle yesterday but um, we've seen quite a bit of playmaking ability from him so I think we're gonna have to see how these last few games play out and then it's you know it's up to the Bills are they gonna extend him with that big contract or not yeah so. and Sammy Watkins, I mean, here's a, another playmaker. You got, you got a, a playmaker that's a quarterback, but if you throw that ball anywhere near Sammy Watkins, it sticks to his hands. <laughs> right, right, and that's the thing. And, and, and again, it's tough because we haven't really got to see Sammy play a lot of games since he's been with the Bills. And, he, you know, unfortunately, he's had several injuries, just like Roberts had uh, here and there. And it's tough when you have your best players not on the field. And I think that's something Rex has said over and over again. Um, but hopefully as the guys start to get healthy, they can, you know, make a run at this thing at the end. And I I think you know all the fans here would agree that's something we'd all like to see is them really you know make a run here at the end. Jacksonville this this week home uh, definitely a winnable game I think they have two wins and then you have uh, a tough game out west with the Raiders. Right. We'll break down the Bills schedule when we come back and see if we can win this thing out and the Bills can perhaps make the playoffs. Welcome back to the Robert Woods Show every Monday here on WBBZ TV. I'm Dave Jixter for 97 Rock, uh, dressed like this because uh, we're uh, raising uh, awareness and food and money for the Food Bank of Western New York that could desperately use your help. Let's check in with my pal Brad Gelber. He's in for my other pal Sarah O'Brien tonight in the Digital Zone. It's brought to you by DeGraff Memorial Hospital, where we see people, not just patients. Brad, take it away. All right, thanks, Dave. And uh, yep, make sure though you check us out on Twitter at WBBZ and as well at Robert Wood Show, as well on Facebook at facebook.com slash WBBZ TV. All right, so Dave and I are gonna kinda handle the questions tonight since we are without Steve. So the first one is from Nick, and he wants to know, with all the injuries, is it fair to judge Tyrod with his big contract coming up? Um, I'll take this one off the top. I think that's something we just talked a little bit about. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that, you know, it is hard anytime as a, you know, professional football player you don't have your full complement surrounding you and you're expected to go out there in a contract year and really prove your worth he's without Sammy Watkins for majority of the season he's out without Robert Woods right now LaShawn McCoy was hurt in and out for a while so I think that it's tough and I think that hopefully um, as guys start coming back they can get a good look at him at the end here and uh, go from there and really evaluate him fairly. Brett, I agree with everything you say uh, there. I, I mean, I think Tyrod Taylor, for one, he's a leader. The players like him, the players respect him, and they play for him. And when he's back in the pocket, he, he's looking downfield more. Uh, he's looking at different receivers. Um, he'll, he'll run with the ball. He'll make plays. And, and you know, I, I know they had problems moving the ball and, and, and getting third down conversions yesterday. But I think overall, I think he's a very exciting quarterback to watch. And I have much more confidence as a fan watching the Buffalo Bills offense. All right, our next question is from Bruce, and he wants to know, uh, this was for Steve as a special teams ace, he wanted to know, have you seen anything like yesterday with all the kickers struggling? There was 12 mixed, missed extra points throughout the day. Um, and Dave, you want to take that one off the top? 
Well, I'm just glad uh, Dan Carpenter didn't struggle yesterday. Dan's a great guy, and I know he's had some 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 problems uh, uh, last year and this year, but he seems to over, be overcoming. You see how happy Rex was when he kicked <laughs> that field goal. I mean, I uh, I'm just glad that we didn't. Our kicker didn't struggle yesterday. Yeah, I agree. I think that you know, Dan's had some struggles here and there, especially on those extra points. But 12 mixed extra points, and people give kickers a hard time, you know, a lot, and say you know they're not real football players or this or that. But you're gonna miss 12 extra points. You're gonna have a lot of heat on you. So I think uh, good thing Dan made all his kicks and he made that long field goal. So uh, good job, Dan, if you're watching. Um, the next question here is from Ryan, and he wants to know: uh, Do you think Gillisley will have a bigger role, even if McCoy can play? He's been so good. Um, like I said before with Dave, I think that he should have a bigger role. Um, I've been a little confused with Anthony Lynn, how he's used uh, Mike Gillisley when McCoy's been healthy. We've seen more Reggie Bush, uh, surprisingly, when uh, McCoy's out there. But um, I would hope he's going to play more. He was fantastic yesterday. I believe he had 72 yards in relief of uh, LaShawn McCoy. Um, and if McCoy's back, um, you know, Dave, you can comment as, on as well. But I think both of those guys together is, is exciting football to see from the Bills on the ground. Absolutely. The old saying is big players make big plays. And, you know, if you're going to make it in the NFL, you know, if, if one of your star guys go out and they're going to hand you the ball, you need to, 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 to make big plays. And he's proving that. And how dangerous can this offense be when everybody's healthy and you have him in the backfield with Shady? It's going to be very exciting. Right. All right, and this one is uh, another Twitter question from uh, GGBuffalo89, and they want to know what or uh, who has been the biggest surprise for the Bills this season? Um, who, who, do you, who have you been surprised with, Dave? Is there anyone that's really kind of stuck out to you so far this season? You know, I don't think I've really been surprised with any, any player. I, I mean, I, I think... Um, when it comes to any, I, I think Tyrod Taylor, I, I'm, maybe I'm surprised of, of how happy I am with him being a quarterback right now. Even though, yes, there's room for improvement and stuff, but I'm comfortable to have him uh, as our quarterback for, for a while for the yeah. Buffalo Bills. I agree. I think Tyrod's been a, he's been a surprise in that I think there's been some struggles, but he's also shown, continued to show flashes of starting quarterback caliber play. Um, I think Justin Hunter is a guy that really surprised me as a wide receiver. I mean, his all, it seemed like all he could do was catch touchdowns early on, kind of a, a no-name player really out of nowhere, the practice squad stepping up uh, for the Bills. Another surprise to me has been uh, Charles Clay at tight end. I think that he's a guy that's made a lot of money, and you every season we say, we need to see more from you, Charles. And I don't know if it's, you know, the coach is not utilizing him or uh, what exactly, but he's a talented playmaker. And hopefully sooner or later, he'll, he'll kind of have a breakout as the guy we saw with the Miami Dolphins as he came over to the Bills. Um, all right, it seems like we have time for maybe one more question. So uh, Rich wants to know, uh, what is the toll on a player that plays special teams and also starts? So this was clearly for Steve Tasker. <laughs> Not Dave and I can't really answer that, but what I think. I can jump in. I mean, you, yeah, if, if you're playing special teams, you're crazy. You're a warrior, and a lot of these guys are, and it's got to take a toll because um, you, you are totally sacrificing your body on special teams, especially on the kickoffs. Right. And I, and I think a guy we had last season on the show, too, Booker Edgerson, told us guys used to play both ways all the time. So now guys nowadays are, you know, babies compared to that. So uh, I think I think it <laughs> it's, it's, uh, takes quite a bit. But uh, that's all the time we have. So we'll go back to you now. Dave. Thanks, Brad. In the Digital Zone for Sarah O'Brien, presented by the Grant Memorial Hospital, where we see people, not just patients. We'll be right back. Connect with Robert with the Mighty Q questions of the week. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla grill press style burritos are available now at Mighty Taco. Chicken, steak, or just say cheese. The Mighty Q is the perfect way to do the Q. Hey everybody, we are back here on the Robert Wood Show and John DeShula with you. And you know what, we really do, Dave, have the best television studio audiences in the world. I really believe that you guys have been so faithful to us totally here agree. at the station at WBBC. We appreciate that, you know, going with the, rolling with the punches like we've been doing. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I uh, wanted to showcase, we have the food here in front. This has been donated by members of our studio audience just for you, Dave, for the 97 Rock Out Hunger. Well, thank you. Uh, 
I can't, I don't know where to begin with the, uh, you know, this is our 11th year doing it, and each year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and the scary part about it is each year the food bank needs more and more food, and the, the numbers of the families the food bank feeds, and it's not people that are, are lazy and don't want to go to work, it's, 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 it's for everyone, it's for families um, that, that the, 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 the mom and dad have full-time jobs, but they come home from work, they might be making minimum wage and have to choose between paying their electric bill or putting food on the table. So the families they feed, even in this area, in the Clarence Williamsville area, there's like six, there's eight food pantries here. Hunger is everywhere in Western New York. And with the Food Bank of Western New York, all this food will stay local and go to families that need it. And it's really, really a great, great organization. So many uh, conditions can make a change in someone's life that dictates that. We have some video that I shot yesterday over at the uh, trailer. Uh, Dave is in front of the Eastern Hills Mall. We're on Transit Road, 4545 Transit Road. And uh, Dave, those are your digs. And you've been there the last couple of days since last Wednesday. And you're going to be there till Wednesday uh, here this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know you always have a big uh, celebration on Wednesday morning, and, but you are taking donations 24 hours a day because you're actually, there's the heaters, uh, you're actually living in the trailer and it's filling up pretty significantly with turkeys and uh, non-perishable food items. Yeah, actually um, it's filling up so quick that they might be moving me out. <laughs> I get closer and closer to the door, but that's really a good problem to have. We have taken, John, over 3,300 turkeys off the truck already. Yeah, there's been a lot there of four days, people 3, are really donating terrific. And those turkeys are already on their way to food pantries around Western New York, New York and getting distributed to families that need them in time for Thanksgiving. So this is how important this food drive is. And we have uh, some people in the studio audience who've donated and uh, this is young Owen. You may have seen him before on the show. Owen, uh, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? you? You donated some food. What do you give me thanks for this year, young Owen? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? You give thanks to your family? Sure. Yeah, give thanks, <laughs> give thanks to the Bills winning? Sure. Sure, okay. All right, Owen, you get out there and do the Hot Shot Football Challenge. He's getting ready to go. We have another member of our studio audience. Come in. What's your name? Nadine. All right, awesome. Nadine, you've been here a regular on the show with our studio audience. What are you giving thanks for this year? Um, giving thanks for our wonderful country, my family and my friends and community. And um, just want to give back a little bit um, for our, you know, for those who, who don't have as much. Well, thanks, uh, and thanks for joining us every week thank you know, you. here I in love the station. The yeah, well, thank you. We love you, too. And, you know, Dave, we really do, as I said, we have some great studio audience members. And if you want to be a part of the studio audience, you go to our website. It's WBBZ.TV. You can make some reservations. You know, we had a little hiccup this week with Robert and, and the knee and, and some scheduling issues. But uh, generally, every week, we have a, a guest star player who joins us, and you get a chance to get some autographs after the show. And it's real easy to do. And we have about, you know, seven more shows to do as we get to between now and the end of the year. Yeah, Steve Tasker promised he's going to be at one of the shows. We're and, holding and him Robert, to it. Now. really wants to be too but he's in a lot of pain right now and I was really when I first saw his leg bend that way I was really concerned about it but he walked off the field and I'm glad to hear it's a week by week injury and hopefully he'll be back um, as soon as possible because we need we need our number two receiver yeah we do we really do and uh, Robert's been you know really just a, a magnanimous guy here with our studio audiences every week and we want you to go to the Eastern Hills Mall that's where you can drop off if you're you know in the area if you're watching live tonight that's terrific you can go over to the Eastern Hills Mall and check it out 4545 Transit Road you can't miss it because Dave is right by the big giant lit sign but Dave you're in the trailer it's windy it's snowing uh, what the wind's awful. what are you doing at night are you sleeping uh, no I'm not sleeping that's the hardest part about it you know we have heaters in the truck so it's warm I mean it's not as warm as my house would be but it's warm but the wind knocks everything around and you hear this bang 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 but you know this is my 11th year doing it and if I have to not get sleep for you know a week to, to get food for the food bank. I mean, it's great. And I also want to say, you know, this is a team effort from Nice of Rock. I mean, I'm the guy doing it, but all the staff are there every day visiting me. We're on the air talking about it. It's definitely a team effort, and 97 Rock is so happy to do this. And we do the Make-A-Wish Radiothon, too. Yeah, we're just so happy to be a part of the community. Well, you know, we're going to be back now with the Hot Shot Football Challenge. We'll make up some time here at the end of the show to talk about the keys to the game. Dave's going to go out there. Brad Gelber is here. We got Owen, and we have another young player. So the Hot Shot Football Challenge is next right here on the Robert Woods Show. We'll be back with Dave and friends right after this. The Hot Shot Football Challenge is brought to you by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Call 633-5050. 
Welcome back to the Robert Woods Show. Dave Jixon from Nice at Rock and Brad Galbert. We wish Robert Woods the best and get well soon, pal. I know you're home watching. It's time to play the Hot Shot Football Challenge presented by Galbert and O'Connell. So I have Landon over here. Hi, Landon. Where are you from? Grand Island. Who's your favorite Buffalo Bill? LaShawn McCoy. Okay. Can you throw a football? Yeah. All right. We're going to see. And your name? Owen. Okay, Owen. Who's your favorite football player? Uh, Tyron. All right. Go ahead, Owen. You go first. Brad's going to keep score. Owen, good luck to you, pal. Good luck. Whoa, the power was there. All right, Landon, go up there and throw that ball. That was a little softer and in the hole. Go ahead, Owen. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, we're going to tally up the score and find out who's going to win that Mighty Taco gift card. We'll be right back. Dave Jigster's wardrobe is provided by my stylist at Macy's. Today it wasn't, it was my own clothes. But go Bills, they gotta play Jacksonville next week. Hopefully they can win two in a row. Brad, thank you for filling in tonight. We greatly appreciate you. And Dave, thank you for all you've done with the food bank. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there as well. Happy Thanksgiving.